What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing a couple of things regarding up and coming Call of Duty events taking place within the next few days here. Highly, highly recommend you guys tuning into these because they are for sure going to be entertaining, eventful, and so much more. Now guys, the Modern Warfare reveal has already taken place, but so far we really only know a few things about multiplayer and maybe just a hint of campaign, but it's really not much at all because we still don't even have actual gameplay. And then of course Spec Ops is very much so unknown at this point. And lastly, there is a rumored Battle Royale game mode. So yeah, there still is so, so much more that needs to be revealed to us coming within these next few months. And something huge is going to be announced to us this coming Monday, August 19th at the opening of GamesCon. It's pretty much going to be broadcasted across all social media platforms and streaming platforms too. So whatever this announcement is, they for sure want this to reach across a wide variety of viewers. And as for what this announcement might be, I truly am not sure what to expect, but for me, I've got a feeling that it's going to be something related to campaign gameplay. We do know based off some developer tweets that campaign gameplay is going to be coming soon, so GamesCon is absolutely the event to showcase that, but honestly, that's kind of predictable. I think everybody can expect Modern Warfare campaign gameplay at GamesCon regardless of this special announcement event taking place, so part of me thinks that it's going to be some information about an event for Spec Ops, maybe revealing some details about that game mode or the rumored battle royale mode like this game really has built a ton of hype from old and new call of duty fans and if they truly want to grab even more attention from the battle royale scene then they for sure could announce that modern warfare is going to have its own take on the genre hopefully if the rumors are true then it'll be free to play which would be the cherry on top for this special announcement plan for monday I'm still standing by my feelings though that there is not going to be a Modern Warfare Battle Royale even though I'm rooting for it to happen. Like I've said before, I'll believe it when I see it, but if the rumors were to be true, then announcing this at GamesCon is literally the perfect place to do so. Um, I'll for sure keep you guys posted what happens on Monday plus my thoughts, so make sure you tune into that in the next few days here. I'm going to have more information and details about the special announcement event for Monday down below in the description. So. Make sure you ch check that in case you guys want to go watch that. And then lastly here, I want to talk to you guys about CWL Champs, COD Champs, the Call of Duty World League, which is going to have the final games played on Sunday. And the prize pool for the event is $2 million. And first place is going to be receiving $800,000, which is absolutely huge. And I've been watching the games off and on the entire week. And it's been pretty entertaining. A couple of upsets have happened already. Like Gen G, everybody expected them to make a huge run, but they were eliminated early on. So... Um, Optic has also been playing super well. I think they've only dropped like five or six games total in pool play, so something like that. It's been pretty entertaining for Optic. And then yesterday they 3 1 Heretic, so Optic playing very, very good compared to the last few events. This might even be the last event for a lot of the CWL pros and teams because of the CWL League franchising next year. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, basically think of it like the NFL or NBA leagues where each city is represented by a team, but there's so much more details that I really don't have time to explain in this video, but I have made a couple of videos talking about this in the past. Highly recommend you guys watching those because franchising could really either make or break Call of Duty competitive. Like, they could definitely take a huge leap into the game being broadcasted globally and just uh, had to have this new influx of fans across the entire world, or it could just be a huge bust. Plus, this might even be the last COD event that's played on console because every popular franchise game are all played on the PC since there's higher hertz, uh, more frames per second. So, for sure, tune into CWL Champs on Sunday. It's definitely going to be very eventful and entertaining. You guys already know that I'm rooting for the green wall optic to win i've been very impressed with how the team is playing so far and yeah fingers crossed that they do win and also that the whole entire team is able to play together next year this might be the last event where you hear these popular team names because again franchising the cwl league and heck for some of the pros it may even be their last event if they don't get signed contracts to the teams who are buying spots in the franchise league 
that's very scary to think about. And like I said, definitely tune into the games and let me know who you're rooting for down below in the comments. Um, again, guys, recommend watching those franchising league videos because uh, Call of Duty Competitive is going to be extremely different come next year. And it may take off into becoming up there in popularity with the Overwatch League or League of Legends. But I just don't see how it can when there's a new Call of Duty game that comes out every single year. Like eSport fans of Modern Warfare may not like the next year's Call of Duty 2020 game. So... I don't know, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of negatives that comes with franchising, but the growth and development for the Call of Duty series could be extremely huge. So, hey guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Please tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. Also drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching, till next time, I'll see you later.